my name is Sai Waifu. So I basically have a craft-based practice um, and I primarily work in paper. So I'm kind of fascinated with kind of how you translate something that's essentially a 2D medium into a 3D medium. So I use mainly pleating um, and then I mix that back with a whole lot of ephemera. So um, it's an outlet for my hoarding really. <laughs> My training is actually in fashion design. So I studied back in the 90s, which was seems like a very long time ago. Um, and the reason I got into fashion was, I mean, I, I still love the industry. I'm still active in the industry. I suppose coming from a immigrant Chinese background from Malaysia, um, having to have a job at the end of it was really important to my parents. Um, and I suppose important to me as well, you know, have, and being able to have a, you know, a living as such. Um, so yeah, I went into fashion, I ended up in commercial design. Um, and after a while in that industry in Australia, I thought, I'm really not doing anything that creative anymore. I've always drawn, I've always made things. Um, I've always been good with my hands. You know, I've got a, they, what they describe as a high level of manual dexterity. So about maybe 10 years ago, I went back and studied just a visual arts course at RMIT. So um, it was just a diploma course and it was just so I got back into making again and um, really fell in love with, I suppose, printmaking in terms of it being very process driven. Um, and also printmakers, I think they're used to working in a collaborative or studio environment as well. So um, that really appealed to me coming from a fashion background where I've always worked in a studio environment. I sort of, was just playing around with paper and um, you know the the very essence of what the practice is now. Um, just playing around with that and going into art competitions and just entering and just having a deadline to work towards. So, you know, that was the way I sort of started. It's an overwhelming need to be able to make and to do. It calms me. It um, is probably an extension of myself. It keeps me sane. Um, it, it's just something I have to do. Um, if I don't do it, I, um, it's not that I'm making art all the time, but I go through making binges and things like that. And it's really satisfying actually creating something at the end of it, taking a raw material and turning it into something. Um, so yeah, for me, it's just an overwhelming urge to be able to do it. Coming from a fashion background where it's a pretty tough industry, um, it's actually toughened me up in a way and um, I'm kind of glad I segued into art this particular way and through, through the ways I have. Like I've had sort of like a meandering course through it. So um, even with showing my art now, it's I haven't had a direct path to sort of galleries or um, you know, showing in, in regular or, you know, traditional means um, initially. And I've come in via the means of printmaking and also craft, so which are both really supportive and open practices. Um, so people who are used to sharing information and working collaboratively. So I felt really supported. In terms of challenges, probably just being motivated. Um, that's something that you know, just you you just have to sort of keep yourself going. I think it's just any sort of self-driven practice um, that's incredibly challenging. And I think the other thing is dealing with any sort of rejection as well. You know, we all get the reject the awful rejection letter, and I have this ongoing joke about how I'm just going to collect them all and then put them into some sort of like um, installation piece of how nobody loves me. Um, but you know, just getting over those issues. Um, but you know, you just sort of dust yourself off and go, all right, you know, what have I learnt from this? Move on, let's, you know, go on to the next project. But yeah, otherwise, no, I think I've actually had it pretty good so far.